became to identify myself as black. I came to the U.S. in 1978, and I became U.S. citizen in 1985. When I became an, when I became a U.S. resident, I was told by the Immigration and Naturalization that I am white. And I told them that I'm black, and they said, no, in this country, you are white. All Arabs in this country, all Arab immigrants are white. I didn't pay much attention in the beginning to this, because in the Arab world, we identify with our ethnicity first as Arabs, and, with, and then with the race second as black or white or whatever. But in this country, you identify with your racial group first, and then with your ethnicity second. Gradually, I became re black first and Arab second. And I rejected my white classification publicly for the first time in 1987, in February, as a panelist in a function sponsored by the Association of the Study of Black Life and History in Detroit. Uh, I said that uh, I belong to two minority groups. I am Arab American and Black American, and I am racially black and ethnically Egyptian. I was harassed by my employer right after that. I work for a white school district. The superintendent is white, all the associate superintendents are white, even though that we provide services to 30% black population. Uh, but the organization is white and the approach is very white. The attitude towards me changed completely after I went out publicly and, 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 and rejected my white classification. Uh, one coworker came to me and told me, a white coworker came to me and told me right after the function, that he met with the superintendent, and if I don't keep my mouth shut, my educational career is over. He said, you have nothing to do with these people. You have a history and a culture. These people came from the jungle. They have, you have nothing to do with them. These people lie and steal. When I see one of them in my neighborhood, I call the police. And I was told by the director of general education, who is retired now, uh, in 88, I was told by him that I get people angry when I say that I'm black Egyptian. If I just say that I'm Egyptian, I would get along. I have to add that I was denied promotion twice because I chose black classification. This is part of my two lawsuits against my employer, which are currently pending. Two lawsuits. Now, uh, just for our, the education of our viewership, why don't you share with us uh, a breakdown of Egypt as it is today, in so far as blacks or uh, combinations thereof of European descent and what have you? We don't have, we don't have Egyptians of European descent in Egypt. We have a population which is basically the inter, uh, which is basically a mixture of ancient Egyptian blacks who intermarried with Arabs right after the Arab conquest. The ancient Egyptian population was brown and black before the Arab conquest. But, but before the Arab conquest came the Greeks. It was ancient, the ancient